Charcoal made from wood has tremendous surface area. More surface area than this. More surface area than this cat. Amazing amounts of surface area. A very large amount of surface area. Incomprehensible amounts of surface area. Immense amounts of surface area. Massive amounts of surface area. With vast interior spaces. Spaces that store water, minerals, and microorganisms. The root system must grow into the minerals in the soil, which may be just out of reach. The roots of plants make sugars for microorganisms that in turn bring minerals and rain to the root system. When the last of the wood breaks in the cold, douse the fire. Any longer only makes ashes. Dousing will fracture the charcoal, giving access to microorganisms and increasing surface area. Dump the charcoal out on a window screen. As you can see, this open fire process made 90-95% charcoal and only 5% ash. There's very little ash in this. Use a brick to crush the charcoal. Hold the end of the window screen to keep charcoal from falling off the edges. Make sure the charcoal is wet or you're going to get a lot of dust. When the charcoal is crushed, pour it into a bucket. Mix crushed charcoal with forest soil from under the tree. Mix it well with water. Forest soil is an excellent material to mix with crushed charcoal. We're under the giant cottonwood tree. It just goes on forever. The best soil can be found under the tree. It's just under the leaf matter. You have to rake it out. Only take an inch or so over a large area. And when you're done, put the leaf matter back. These buckets are filled with terra preta in process. If your hands get dirty while gardening, wash them in a bucket. Don't let that good stuff go to waste. 